Hey guys, it's Metro here. Uh, I got some really cool stuff in the mail today. Uh, I can't wait to convert these to slingshots or whatever. Um, I got some stuff from Composite Craft Incorporated. Um, this is their product known as the C-Tech. It's C-T-E-K. Um, and what it is is uh, resin uh, impregnated aluminum core, uh, aluminum honeycomb rather. Um, so it's uh, cast to various thicknesses and they use various uh, size honeycombs and this is a pretty tight one this looks to be like eighth inch uh, honeycomb uh, and it's in this bright red resin uh, there's about a quarter inch thick um, and I got four samples from them uh, thanks to Kim at, uh, at Composite Craft again this is the white this is an opaque white uh, this is even tighter um, weave so when you sand this back you'll, you'll see the, uh, the aluminum honeycomb come through um, so it's quite, it's, uh, you can't really tell on this side because it's opaque, but this side you can sort of see it peeking through. It's kind of cool. Uh, these two pieces are cut from the same piece, so they're actually the same. And I shot a really bright light through them and looks to be brown or dark red. Um, but again, it's, it's, it's the same honeycomb um, uh, construction method, uh, and it is quarter inch. Uh, these came a little bit warped, and they were cupped a bit. Um, I emailed them and they were quick to respond saying uh, you can uh, heat them up to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit and then uh, stick it on a flat surface and put some weight on it and then it'll flatten out. So that's what I did. I put them in the toaster oven, uh, took my uh, big piece of marble and then just you know flatten them out and let them cool off. So that was pretty easy. Uh, some other stuff is I got some uh, vintage uh, from probably the early 70s cast Italian. Um, uh, tortoise shell. So this is uh, super cool stuff. It's got some wild texture to it and uh, it's like I said it's cast in Italy. Um, I got a couple of sheets of different kinds. This is an eight millimeter uh, brown one. This is a four millimeter brown one. Uh, so that's kind of wild. Um, I'll definitely need to back it onto some aluminum or put some kind of like white backing on it so that the pattern can show through. Uh, and this one's a black snake pattern so you can see that it's really, really cool. So I can't wait to convert these to something else. Um, these are cellulose acetate, so they will react to heat. Um, so again, I'm probably going to heat them up to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, put them on a flat surface, get uh, a big weight on them, and then uh, they'll flatten out hopefully. Um, maybe that's what's going to do. So I emailed the guy at bottom from, and he said he used hot water. Um, so we'll see if the toaster oven is going to work or I should use hot water. So uh, yeah, that's a quick update on some materials I got. Um, I'm going to be busy for the next little while, so I won't be able to making slings for the next two weeks, but uh, I didn't want to update you guys on some uh, new materials that came in the shop. Thanks.